بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد عليه وعلى آله أتم الصلاة والتسليم من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمدا عبده ورسوله Beloved Muslims the tongue often falls short when trying to describe the painful events we have witnessed in the recent days. Our hearts are heavy with sorrow, anger, and grief for our brothers and sisters in, in Palestine, in wounded uh, Gaza. This feeling courses through the body of every sincere Muslim, one who is protective of their faith, honor, land, and the causes of our ummah. We witness the killing of innocent souls, including elders, children, and women, and the ruthless blockade that deprives them of food, medicine, water, communication, electricity. We witness the rentless and devastating airstrikes that have destroyed homes over the head of those who live in them. All of this is done without, the, without mercy or compassion by the aggressive occupying forces, and with the support and complicity of the international community of the West. Our brothers and sisters in the first Qibla of Islam, the place of night journey of our beloved Prophet والسلام, suffer under the oppression of devious foreign entity inflicted by the traitorous, uh, deceitful enemy. We have seen bodies withered, livers parched, stomach empty, from the ruthless aggression and a oppressive blockade. Children cry and scream, elders sigh, and the sick endure pain and men feel lost. Gaza is burning and suffocating. But even with this massive distraction, it will not die. The Palestinian people are determined people. Their will, their, their will to live is stronger than Israel's will to destroy them. People of Gaza will live in dignity and win. We had a taste of that dignified win on the 7th of October that shattered the illusion of Israel, that fragile entity had uh, disseminated, claiming to be invincible army and unbeatable state. Dear Muslims, people in Gaza has shown an incredible resilience over the years and now, during these days, and from their resilience, we maintain hope, and we cannot let them down by feeling defeated and being in despair. In this trying time of conflict and adversity, we turn to the guidance of Quran, our eternal source of strength and solace. It reminds us of the trials faced by those before us, who like us, yearned for the help of Allah, the Quran tells us in Surah Al-Baqarah, or do you think that you will enter paradise while such trial has not yet come to you, as came those who passed on before you? They were touched by the poverty and hardship and were shaking until even their messenger and those who believed with him said, when the help of Allah, when the help of Allah is coming, subhanAllah. Unquestionably, the help of Allah is near. These verses remind us that the struggle, although unbearably brutal, is not unique. The early believers faced poverty and hardship, and their faith was tested. Their example tells us that the help of Allah is always near. The people of Gaza are not alone in this trial. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, is, is with them. Consider, for example, the battle of Badr, of Badr, which is a sign for us, as mentioned in Surah Al-Umran. The ayah uh, 313 says, There has already been a sign for you in the two armies that met in the battle of Badr. One was fighting in the cause of Allah. And as for the other, were disbelievers, 
they uh, saw them, the believers saw the disbeliever with their own eyes twice their number, although they were thrice the, that number. And Allah supports them with victory. And Allah supports with, victor with his victory whom he pleases. Verily, in this is a lesson for those who understand. In the face of seem seemingly uh, insurmountable odds, the believers at Badr remained steadfast and were granted victory by Allah. This battle teaches us that the victory is not determined by numbers, but by the faith and the trust of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ayah says, let those believers who sell their, the life of, uh, of this world for the hereafter, fight in the cause of Allah, whose fight in the cause of Allah and is killed or get victory, we shall bestow on, on, on him a great reward. Remember the companion of the Prophet ﷺ, who sacrificed their life of Islam and were promised great reward in the hereafter. <clears throat> in Surah Muhammad, the ayah says, do not become weak against your enemy, nor be sad, and you will be superior in victory, and you are indeed, if you are indeed true believers. During our struggle, we must remain steadfast and not lose hope, knowing that the true believers will ultimately achieve victory. Let us also remember Surah An nisa Ayah uh, 104. And do not weaken in pursuit of the enemy. If you should be suffering, so are they suffering as you are suffering. But you expect from Allah that which they expect not. And Allah is ever knowing and ever wise. Our enemy might seek to weaken us. But we are reminded that Allah's wisdom is at work. We suffer, but they also suffer. We place our trust in Allah, and they have no one to trust, and they have, and they do not have Allah, who is all knowing, all wise. Subhanahu wa taala. Allah says in another ayah, Surah Al-Baqarah. Never say that those betrayed in the causes of Allah are dead. <clears throat> in fact, they are alive. But you do not perceive it. But you are not. But you do not perceive it. Our own human standards are different, and so in this moment, I I will remind myself and remind you that there is in fact only two outcomes out out there for the believers. Like and 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 both means victory. If the believer lives, Allah, Allah is with them. If the believer dies, Allah is with them. There's literally no other outcome. In these verses and the rest of the Quran, subhanAllah, if we read sincerely, we find the strength to carry on, the wisdom to plan our actions, and the assurance that Allah's help is near. We stand together, united in faith, praying for be peace, and trusting that our trials and Gaza's people trials will ultimately lead to victory. May Allah grant people of Gaza and us patience and trust and steadfastness. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We Muslims in the Western countries can take several meaningful actions to stand with uh, solidarity with the Gaza and Palestine people, and such as like educate ourselves and others like about the historical and political context uh, of the significance of Palestine, of, of this land, of what happened to those people. And knowledge is power, is, is, is like knowledge, spreading knowledge is like the, is one of the most powerful tools we have right now. And, and we need to educate people around us in our communities, friends, colleagues, should know the reality about Palestine and the issue faced by the people of Gaza and not leave them to the Western media. We should also contribute our sadaqa and zakah to the humanitarian organizations and initiatives that provide essential aid to the relief of Gaza. What we can do in America, contact and engage 
with the elected officials to push them for for more just policy regarding America supporting Israel. <clears throat> and we need to hold media outlet accountable. Send uh, or or light uh, write letters. Uh, use social media or support organization uh, that did, that is dedicated to the fair media. But all of these actions to help people in Palestine and Gaza are like though important, they have minor effect if we don't start learning our Islam and practice it sincerely. We must thank Gaza because it exposed the failure of programs and strategies that were presented as sincere, such as peace, normalization, coexistence with the Zionists. How can there be peace with the Zionists or, or coexistence? The collapse, the collapse of these organizations, the, uh, the steadfastness of their betrayal, the absence of the truth, in their programs have left only Islam on the arena. The removal of the misplaced trust that some Muslims had in these organizations in itself a significant victory because of the because the nation can only triumph when the when it reaches to convinc conviction that Islam alone, just Islam, can save it. And now the tide, alhamdulillah, is moving to the direction, the right direction. The second thing after practice, practicing Islam sincerely is to do dua, supplication. Do not think that supplication does nothing. Do not think that when you pray for Muslims, you are not taking any action. You are taking the most potent action. There is nothing mightier than Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he created us all, Muslims and Zionists alike. Meaning that all the means in his hand and all the reasons in his hand. And we are doing the dua to Allah. Some people ask, what can I, can we do uh, for the people of Gaza? Prayer alone, alone is not enough. Prayer is not little. Dua is not little. Dua is the mightiest tool in our hands right now. We should not lose hope. Despair is what Shaitan wants us to, to be at. He wants, he wants Muslims to feel divided and weak until we reach the point of despair. And that's the opposite of what Ghazian people are. They're resilient and they believe in God and in, God, in Allah and they trust Allah's uh, plan for them. <clears throat> so that when when the shaitan when he intends to defeat us through this uh, that's his plan to he's intending to defeat us through despair <clears throat> so you should know we should know i should know that there are people in the world who believe that worldly means are more potent than supplication while in fact subhanallah supplication is the most potent means however our lord has decreed specific time for victory, for everything. And we must be patient until then. And we will not be, we will not be re get rid of Zionists except at God's appointed time. Until then, we should not cease practicing Islam fully and praying continu continuously. We should pray until God's mercy descends upon Ahl Ghazza, upon us. The verse says, my Lord is certain in what he wills. Allah latifun biman yasha, biman yasha. Allah latifun biman yasha. He causes whom he wills to reach the goal. He uses means when he wants to show the result. Don't deprive yourself of being one of the, of the means that Allah uses for, for victory. Prophet Muhammad والسلام, said, <clears throat> you will be victorious through your weak ones, not through the, through, through the strong ones. This means 
all of those children and elders we see killed. God will avenge them sooner or later and will take them as the reason for victory. Let us not impose our timetable on God or put our own, like we want victory right now. This is Allah's plan. Let us just be patient and continue to pray. This is what we can do because we are not Allah. As we have been commanded to pray until God's promise is fulfilled. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Now I invite you to extend your hands in supplication and join me in praying for people of Gaza. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Oh Allah, relieve our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Release their captives and remove their distress by your mercy, Ya Arham al Oh Allah, surely our brothers and sisters in Gaza are facing trials known only to you. And in us, there is weakness and shortcomings that you are fully aware of. Ya Allah, to whom can we turn but to you? Ya Akram al Akramin, Ya Qawi, Ya Mateen, O most generous, O O all powerful. Should we seek help from anyone other than you? Ya Allah, should we seek assistance from anyone other than you? Ya Allah, Ya Aziz, Ya Azim, Ya Muiz, Ya Mudil, Ya Qahar, the one whom nothing in this heaven and the earth can resist. Unleash your wrath and punishment upon the Zionists, their supporters, their allies from among the disbelievers and the hypocrites, as their evil has spread far and wide. Ya Rabbil Alam, O oh Allah, keep the Mujahideen steadfast during the clashes, assist them against your enemies, and help them lay siege to them in their narrow circumstances, confuse their ways, and grasping their throat. With you we turn, and with with you we seek victory. With you we fight. For you we pray. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, you are the one who never disappoints those who ask you and never fails to answer the supplication. The supplication. Ya Allah, grant victory to our brothers in Palestine. Ya Allah, bring Bring them together and mend their wraps and, the, and, and their suffering. Heal their sick and improve their circumstances. Ya Allah, we entrust, we entrust Gaza's people. We entrust you, entrust you all the people in Gaza and Palestine. Grant them victory. Watch over them with your ever watchful eye and ease their heart. Strengthen them with your soldier. Bestow upon them your tranquility and make the land and its inhabitants obedient to them. Ya Allah, use us. Ya Allah, use us and never replace us. Ya Allah, use us to help them. Ya Allah, use us and never replace us. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we are entrusting you, Palestine, the people of Gaza. Protect them and watch over them. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah. Allah, Allah, Rabbi, la ushrik bihi shay'a. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.